All right, what is going on, y'all? Chris Pleasant coming back at you with yet another Justin Bieber album review. Now, this is actually Justin's latter debut studio album. Even though it says it on the web, I still consider this to be his second album. And this is my number one favorite Justin Bieber album. It's called My World 2.0. Now, My World 2.0 is Justin's second successful album in the USA by going to number one on the Billboard 200 in a snap by selling more than 280,000 copies in its first week, making Justin the youngest male artist to have a number one debut album since Stevie Wonder in 1963. Now, here's the front of the album. And uh, on the back, it has the songs right here. Songs are right here on the left on the left side right over here and uh, The CD I really love the design of the CD It looks like this It's like this Now I got this album on December 26 2010 along with my world So I've had both my world and, and this album for two, for um, three years now, and, and I'm surprised that this, this C, that this CD is still in, in this really good condition. I, I'm very surprised. So when I first got this album, I, I loved it from I loved it from the start. So let me jump into the songs right here. So number one, Baby, featuring Ludacris. That starts off this album, and that was the second song that. I, that I listened to after watching I Party with Victorious. And uh, I really like the song. Baby became the first single off of the album. And it features my man Ludacris. And uh, I gotta give a shout out to Cimarelli for covering this. Yeah, shout out to you Cimarelli for, for covering this song. Number two, Somebody to Love. That became the fourth single off of this album. Now Somebody to Love has the same rhythm as Baby. Just different, just different sounds. Love the song. It's amazing. Number three, Stuck in the Moment. Now that has a really good sound. A really good, really good sound. It's a really good song. And um, you, can pop, you can mash up two other songs with Stuck in the Moment. You, you can mash up Stuck in the Moment with Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry and She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. Because those two have a similar melody, actually a similar sound, to Stuck in the Moment. Next is number four, You Smile, the fifth single from, from this album. Danny and Lauren Cimarelli covered, the, covered this song on their web show, the, the Sugar and Spice Show. If you haven't seen that video, you ought to check it out. It's really amazing. Shout out to you, Danny and Lauren Cimarelli, for, for covering You Smile. Number five, number five, Runaway Love. Now, that brings us back to the party vibe. And uh, it talks about somebody, talks about searching for a lost love. Search for a lost love. All right. Number six, Never Let You Go. That's the second overall single. But it actually became a promo single for the album. But I still consider it to be the second single because it was the next single after Baby was released. And Never Let You Go has a really amazing sound. I love it. Love it a lot. Number seven. Overboard featuring Jessica Jarrell. Overboard is, I would have to say, is my favorite track. I love, I love it. I love the rhythm. Love the lyrics. Very easy to learn. Number eight. Eeny Meeny. With Sean Kingston, that became the third single off of the off of the album. Eeny Meeny has a really good party rhythm. Cimarelli matched that song up with "Love Me." Gotta give a shout out to Cimarelli for for that. I also want to give a, I also want to give another shout out to Danny and Lauren Cimarelli for covering "Baby" as well. Yeah, that except 
the way they sung, baby, they didn't go right to the ending. They just stopped right there at the end of the chorus. That that was how they did it. Number nine, Up. Up is another is another love song. I love that song a lot. And last but not least, That Should Be Me. That's number 10. Now that is a sad song. I mean, this was the first Justin Bieber album to ever close out with a sad song. I mean, I mean, I mean, it is a good song and all, but it is really sad. In fact, I can re I can relate to the song That Should Be Me. I can really relate to that, but while we were, while I was driving home with, with my father in my car and we were listening to that song That Should Be Me, I told my father that 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 was a song that the song That Should Be Me is a song that I related to, but he said not to worry about. It. But he said not to worry about it because one day God will will send me the right kind of girl. I just have to be patient about it. By the way, like I said, My World 2.0 went to number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart, and it was certified three times platinum. So this is practically Justin's biggest selling album ever in the USA. Now, on some copies of this album, uh, there's a bonus track called Where Are You Now? Now, that is another sad song. That is focusing on the divorce of Justin's parents. So... So, so that's two, so that's two sad songs on one album. Two sad songs on one album. So, if you like the album My World, then you'll probably like the album My World 2.0 just as much. If you don't have My World 2.0, buy it, because I think you'll like it just as much as My World. But, if you do have My World 2.0... What's your favorite track? Let me know down in the comments and, and tell me what you think. I hope you, I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll catch you later with another review. Peace.